Okay, this is uh, part two of the uh, video. I've run out of room on the first part, so I thought I'd better uh, get cracking with the uh, second part. <laughs> I'm hoping that these uh, two videos come out well. Um, the, the camera I've got is, like I say, very, very old. So back on the menu system here on the LP500, uh, I'm just going to change the actual uh, uh, alarm volume. So just going to turn it up slightly so you can actually hear it. Um, what, you, what this will do, you can set it so that so you can set the alarm... Um, if it, you know over a certain power you can set the alarm for the um, VSWR um, which is uh, really really good and uh, obviously you know for for the SWR alarm it's great to monitor your SWR going to the amplifier so you you know if it's a bit too on the high side or something's wrong the alarm will go off and uh, that, that's a really good thing uh, let me just uh, scroll down to uh, alarm volume here we go let's just let's move that up a bit and hopefully you can hear that and uh, we're going to set the alarm threshold. Let's go uh, go back all the way to alarm threshold. Uh, I think this is oh power alarm. Let's go to the power alarm. Bear with me. I'm just getting to the power alarm. Okay, let's turn this down to let's say uh, let's go 40. Okay, go back and uh, we're gonna let's let's try it now. Let's put on a. So at the moment just 17 watts, but as soon as I move it up and it goes over 40, you'll see the alarm will kick in. Can you hear that? And you can see the alarm LEDs here. So it's very, very good. Really handy and uh, like I say, very, very quick. I mean, if I tune, I just quickly tune very quickly. Uh, let's just turn that down a bit. Just going to tune the amplifier. I tune that with the ATU. It's done, you know, dead on 30, 1.23, and I can't complain with that. And uh, but it's a, a lovely meter, it really is. And um, definitely check it out on Larry's uh, website, on the Telepost website, or type in N8LP, and you'll find that Larry's website, uh, Telepost. And uh, he also sells the uh, the famous LP 100A. I used to have one of the, uh, the 100A. I actually sold mine because I need that when I get the LP500. I'll be using this uh, pretty much all the time. I'll show you another feature it's got that I really do like. Let me just quickly uh, put it on CW. And uh, I'm going to uh, quickly go to mode. And we're going to, instead of going on scope mode, uh, we're going to, uh, I think it's on scope mode. One second, let me just, uh, uh, I'll, I just want user one. I think we want uh, SS, not SSB, CW. Okay, so we're going to go. Uh, we're going to we're going to freeze that in a minute. One second. It's a bit hard to do. Hang on, I've done it wrong. Let me just uh, unfreeze that. It's hard to do with the uh, <laughs> with the um, uh, camera on my uh, with the camera. Unfortunately, let me just. Uh, Make sure I've uh, got it set up right here. I haven't done it a lot. Let's uh, hang on. Let's go user one. Uh, it's not user one. I'm going to go CW. Hang on. Bear with me. Uh, I just want. Uh, oh yeah, I want. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, nope, hang on. I'm doing something wrong here. Let me just uh, give you a demo. Hang on. Not that one. Not that one. Let's go here. CW. Scope. Let's scope with trap. Uh, aha. CW. Here we go. This is on split mode with CW. And you can see there it's um, power and uh, the negative um, cycle of the actual waveform let me just uh, quickly go um, that's with the power power and SWR but with the CW waveform and if we go here and then we freeze it let me just uh, click on freeze now freeze frozen that and then what we can do now is we can bring in the cursor and we can basically uh, get our uh, start time our rise time from the CW uh, and cursor 2 and we can just basically just have a look at what our rise our time is on our uh, CW waveform if you can see that I've just measured two of them 
and you can see here I don't know if you can see that on this camera the camera's not that great but you can see the rise times here and let me just uh, pull it out I don't know if you can see that but it's actually uh, 2.1 milliseconds so uh, you know really really uh, handy um, it's great that you can do that on a meter and pull up and freeze and all, all kinds of different things that you can do with it but um, absolutely love this meter it's uh, fantastic um, can't fault it in any way at all uh, the touch screen is very good on it by the way uh, if I'm, I'm, you can touch screen it here uh, just go here on touch screen or you can use the buttons I tend to use the buttons um, but uh, I have used them occasionally the touch screen as well obviously when I'm measuring something I'm using the touch screen to bring a, bring over the cursors and freeze the frame etc but uh, it's just a beautiful beautiful uh, piece of kit um, I love this uh, piece of kit and like I say, I waited long enough for mine, and uh, I'll just give you an upshot of it. That's the upshot of it. It's uh, really, really nice. And for those of you on the waiting list, waiting for one, you're in for a treat. Because it's, uh, it's a beautiful piece of kit, it really is. And like I say, you can see it from all angles. I've, got it on, I've only got it on 10% brightness at the moment, because the camera doesn't like the brightness that much. So, um, you know, hopefully... Uh, you know, and, and at night, this is where it really shines at night. Um, you know, even when you've got the lights low, uh, you don't want anything too bright, especially uh, you want it to match in really pretty much with the uh, the other radio equipment that you've got in the shack. And uh, this um, really does uh, does a great job because it'll go down to 10% to 100% in brightness. So it's not too bright at night, so don't worry about that. You can get it dimmed right the way down and uh, it'll be just right for you. Or in the daytime, if you need to um, put it up a little bit, then uh, you can you can obviously put it up as well, uh, but it's a, a great great piece of, of kit. Uh, like I say, you know, can't uh, can't recommend it enough. Really, um, it's lovely to have, especially when I'm on the radio here, and uh, basically uh, I'm just look peering up here and uh, does everything that I need it to do. Great for setting up uh, my ESSB audio for when I'm setting up my uh, audio racks. Um, it's um, you know can't uh, I just can't uh, fault it in any way really. Um, you know, like I say, good for audio, um, great for VSW, um, SWR, and power. Uh, it's, it's equally as fast as the L, the LP one hundred A, and uh, it's uh, great because you can obviously plug other radios into it, like uh, your VHF, UHF radios as well. You can put it on auto range. You can change between the uh, the different coupler channels. Uh, I'm using up two channels at the moment uh, because of the tra trapezoid display trapezoid to play, this is a display for the amplifier but uh, I aim at uh, eventually to have just uh, you know all four couplers going in two of them would be used for HF the other two for VHF and UHF and you know can't really ask for much more than that and uh, and there it is really uh, I'll just quickly touch on the uh, the uh, the antenna switching system quickly I don't know if you've seen one of my videos before if you haven't uh, like I say you can, I can switch between um, four uh, f uh, f three radios to four antennas and uh, the great thing about it is when I'm tuning you'll see that it will cut in uh, if I if I just tune quickly you'll see that it will bypass hang on one second let's just turn up that uh, uh, if I tune quickly one sec and if I tune okay you didn't you couldn't see it but uh, basically what it will do it's in when it's in tune mode it would take basically the uh, the amplifier out of the equation so when I tune see you can see that light go on there it will take it out and if you can see that this, this light here and so when I tune it will basically bypass the the amplifier see done so very very handy feature and that uh, switching system here goes to the, the switching system here on the wall that goes out to uh, all the uh, four antennas to the tower. Let me just uh, quickly show you very quickly, and I'll make the, this the, enough for this video. But as I'm switching across here, the different antennas, I can obviously see it, uh, the LED move across on the different antennas on the uh, switching system up on the wall there. So a very, uh, very good system. I uh, hope you like this short video. I haven't done a video for a long, long time, and uh, my coffee's got cold. I think it's cold. Let me think. Hang on. Ah, very, very cold. So I'm going to have to go and make another coffee. I'm hoping this was uh, an okay video. So quite, uh, it was quite sunny outside, but now it's uh, 
it's not too bad so here is the shack of Jesus SEC and I'll say uh, seven threes best wishes and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be doing some more in the future and especially some more on the uh, LP 500 when I'm using it actually in operation maybe in QSO or something like that and uh, so uh, hope you like the video and uh, I'll see you soon bye bye all the best from G0 SEC